In this demonstration, we will show how DataWalk software can be used to efficiently investigate a money laundering scheme. DataWalk has the ability to quickly and easily import and automatically link data from many different sources, and the data in the consolidated repository is visualized here in the DataWalk Universe Viewer. This data model, which may reflect billions of records, is easily customized for each implementation and can easily be modified as desired. In this case, we've imported alerts from the bank's monitoring system, transactions from the bank's transaction systems, customer information for various internal systems, information that has previously been downloaded from LexisNexis, previous SARS, and the OFAC list. We will now examine an alert for structured cash deposits that are being made into an account belonging to an ice cream shop. We see the number of transactions associated with this alert, and we view account information and see that Ice Cream Dream is a business account in Palo Alto, California, owned by Carla Castillo. A review of transactions associated with this account shows a series of structured cash deposits just under the $10,000 reporting threshold. The deposits are being made at branches around the San Francisco Bay Area, Los Angeles, and New York, and appear to be a classic case of funneling. On the Universe Viewer, we set the Ice Cream Dream account as our perspective to then see all transactions associated with this account. We now set these transactions as our perspective, such that we can then see the source and destination of funds. Additional accounts are now indicated. We now want to see how money has flowed between these three accounts. We see funds going into the Ice Cream Dream account, and we see that during this time period, nearly the same amount has flowed out to two other entities, Diego Trucking and Gonzalez Poultry. There's no obvious reason why a trucking company and a poultry company should be receiving large amounts of funds from an ice cream shop, so we suspect that we are seeing layering utilizing a pass-through account. It appears as if this ice cream shop may be a front company for the placement of funds in a money laundering scheme. Diego Trucking and Gonzalez Poultry are also customers of our bank, and we can easily check to see if there are SAR filings associated with these accounts, and we instantly see multiple SAR filings for both. So at this point in our investigation, our analysis has linked Ice Cream Dream to high-risk customers Diego Trucking and Gonzalez Poultry, so the risk rating of Ice Cream Dream needs to be elevated and that account flagged for enhanced due diligence. Back on the Universe Viewer, we can now easily see all transactions associated with these three accounts, and we see that there are several additional accounts with whom they have transacted. We view these accounts on a network graph, and we see that there are several additional companies which appear to be other front companies. So, we have now identified and linked several additional suspects that were previously unknown. More importantly, we see that nearly the same amount of money coming into Diego Trucking and Gonzalez Poultry is quickly flowing out to El Guapo Exchange. This is indicative of a pass-through account. And use time series analysis to visually see how money quickly passes through the various accounts and into the account of El Guapo Exchange. We check the underlying transactions to El Guapo Exchange and we see that these are all wire transfers. We now check whether any SARs are associated with El Guapo Exchange, and we see that there are several. We now view money flows on a map, and we see that money is flowing from the front companies in New York, Los Angeles, and San Francisco, to Diego Trucking in San Diego, and Gonzalez Poultry in Phoenix, and then on to El Guapo Exchange in Guadalajara, Mexico. 